So Yamaha has released the DTX version 2 firmware update. This is for DTX Pro and DTX Pro X modules. And this means that if you have any of the DTX6, DTX8 or DTX10 kits, you can use this update. You can download it, install it, and it will give you new sounds and new functions. So this is just a quick overview of the whole firmware update, just so you can see what you're going to get. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a DTX Pro module, so that's if you have a DTX6 or a DTX8 kit, you have 30 new drum kits. You have all your original ones, but you have 30 new ones on top. These are made up of not exclusively, but new samples. And these new samples come from something which was missing on version one, principally the recording custom, the classic Yamaha 9000 or recording custom, depending on which one you want to call it, uh, sounds. So we have recording custom, kicks, toms, and snares. Okay, so fabulous new sounds, uh, which is brilliant, 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 brilliant. One of my favorite kits. We also have, as well as the recording custom, and this is for the DTX Pro, we have dead drums, which are called dirty drums inside the module. Um, so think sort of ash sewn type sounds, uh, very dead kicks, very dead toms, um, very punchy, sound great on records, really cut through very cleanly. Um, so we have those. So that's the DTX Pro. If you have the DTX Pro X, you have all of that. So you have the recording custom, you have the dirty, the, the dead drums, you have new cymbals, but you also have samples from Yamaha's PHX line. Kicks and toms from PHX are now in the DTX Pro X module. Fantastic. Right. And then sound-wise, you get two new functions. Uh, you get something called bleed control, which allows you to dial in the amount of ring you get from other instruments. For example, on your acoustic drum kit, you play the bass drum hard, and it makes the bottom heads of the toms vibrate. Now, you can now do this on the DTX Pro and the DTX Pro X. We aren't just talking snare buzz, we're talking everything all the resonance of the kit. You can even add a bit of cymbals if you want to. So it makes the whole thing much more realistic and much less like just a collection of samples. So that's very cool. Then we also have cymbal EQs. The original cymbals are all still there, but you have them in different flavors, different EQ shapes. So you have the original, you have one which has got a high pass filter on it, which means it's got less low end. It's cleaner. It's more like a lot of other drum modules. Very, very clean. Uh, then you've got versions which are slightly trashier, um, slightly brighter. It depends on what you need. So if you're using a particular cymbal sound and you really like it, but it's not quite cutting it, it's not quite doing what you want it to do, you can just choose a different EQ curve just for that one cymbal and it will sort it out. But as with everything on all of the DTX Pro and Pro X sounds, you have full access to everything EQ-wise. And EQ is probably one of the most underrated um, and underused parts of the DTXs. So that's two new sound functions, the bleed control and the symbol EQs. Whew. Then we have user interface. The user interface has been cleaned up. It's much simpler. It's much easier to use. So if you want to stack some sounds, for example, you don't have to go backwards and forwards between lots of different screens. It's much simpler, much more logical. Then we have hi-hat pitch up. This is something which is borrowed from the DTX 700 and DTX 900 modules, where if you press the pedal down extra hard, the pitch goes up slightly, just like it does on acoustic cymbals. And then lastly, one which will probably be overlooked by a lot of people, but is actually very, very useful. This is called USB trigger link. Normally, if you have a kit and you want to use another module with it, you would have to connect the module of your existing kit to the new module with a MIDI lead. But you don't have to do that now. Now, this is principally aimed at DTX 900 and DTX 700 users. And what this means is if you have a DTX 900, not all the pads that work with the DTX 900 module are compatible with the DTX Pro and DTX Pro X because of how the zones work and stuff like that. 
But now, if you have a DTX 700 or DTX 900, you can connect it to a DTX Pro or a DTX Pro X just by using a standard USB cable. Very, very simple. And it basically replaces having to use a computer in between. You used to have to go module, USB to computer, USB to the new module via a second USB cable, and it got very complicated. Now you can just link the two modules together with a USB cable and you're sorted. Very, very useful. So that is new sounds. On the Pro, you get the recording custom, the dead samples. On the Pro X, you get the recording custom, you get PHX and you get the dead sounds and the new symbols. You get two new functionality things sound wise which is the bleed control and the symbol eqs you get a new user interface you get hi-hat pitch up and you get this usb trigger link now if you have got a dtx pro or a dtx pro x module download it install it and see how you get on with it